Okay. I decided to go live before I lose my nerve and I feel like because two songs played in the radio like back to back that um, someone was speaking to me telling me that I just needed to get this off my chest and move on with my week and everything will be fine. So, if anybody knows me, they know what this week is, number one. Number two, you're reaching out to me to ask me questions or to offer your condolences. Well, to offer your condolences, I'm completely fine with that. That's cool. Completely fine. I appreciate the love and support. I'm going to swipe over in the comments because I'm not going to talk, like, answer people right now. Um, I'll respond back to you later. So, but what I did want to go live about is I know people mean well. I really, really know that you do. But this has been bugging me probably for like three weeks. Actually, it's probably been bugging me for more like two years now. But uh, I've been biting my tongue and not saying anything because I'm not necessarily that person to um, be an asshole. <laughs> but I feel like I have the right to be an asshole right now. So I've earned it. I deserve it. I'm going to be an asshole. If you don't like my cursing, then you might as well just stop watching now because I'm a little angry because I've held on to some shit for two years and it's time to let it go. I'm going to try really hard to not start crying, but you want to message me and offer condolences or say something to me nice about my friend and her children? By all means, please do. They are appreciated. They are welcomed. But if you want to message me and ask me questions about what happened or that day, go fuck yourself. Really. Read the 2,000 pages of Discovery. Watch the fucking body cams. Like, it's all out there. Whether we wanted it out there or not, it's there. You've all taken it and you have done what you wanted with it. You've talked about it on groups and groups and groups. Um, people have taken it on YouTube. This is just how I feel about it. People have taken it and done however many videos on YouTube and made lots of money. Believe me, because I know how YouTube works. I have a YouTube channel now. I've been monetized. I know how that whole thing works. So, um, you take the videos and you talk about it over and over and over again. Stop being fucking basic. Like, get your own content. Make your own shit. Like, please, by all means, if you want to inspire somebody, make your own shit and inspire somebody. Quit taking hers and dissecting it and trying to figure out the why. Because we're never going to know the fucking why. Like, we're never going to. As much as we want to, we're not. And as much as the messages are nice for prayers and condolences and all of that, I know I'm speaking for quite a few of us that were involved. We can be going about our day and trying to live our lives because believe you me, there's not a day or a second that we don't think about it. There isn't because we would give anything to go back and to change it or to say something different or to do something different as little as it could have been if it would have changed it, but we can't. So please think about when you're sending those messages, like just take a moment and I'm probably going to get a lot of messages after this, but my point is, is it doesn't matter whether it's what's happened to me or if you've lost somebody period it's nice to be checked up on but it also sucks it really really sucks because you can be going about your day and for that one brief moment where you're just caught up in your day and you're finally not thinking about how it could have changed or what you could have done differently or what somebody else could have done differently for that brief moment you're not there anymore and then you get a text message or a message from somebody and you pick up your phone to read it and you're taken right back there 
Does that make any sense? I don't know if I'm speaking for everybody involved. But that's just me personally. Like, I literally can be doing something completely random and not even, like, not even be there. And I'll get a message and I will be taken right back there to that day. Remember it like it was yesterday. It's never going to go away. It's not going to matter if one year passes, three year passes, ten New year text pass, message from Sarah Lane. Ten years pass. It'll still feel like it was yesterday because I was there. The other thing is, please don't tell me you know how I feel. You have no fucking idea how I feel or how this has affected me or my family. You have no idea how her parents or her brother feels because you're not them. You have may lost somebody. We all have. But you can never feel the way we feel because you're not us. You're not in our shoes. You have no idea. You can empathize and you can sympathize, but you have no idea what it feels like to have gone through what they've went through or what I or other friends have gone through. So I just felt that it was on my heart and they needed to get it off my chest. I really do. I love all of the support and the caring people. And I met so many wonderful people because I honestly believe that Shanann was such a force to be reckoned with. She's sending me little bits and pieces with her. She's, she is sending people to me to give me back little bits and pieces of her because no one will ever be her and I don't want anyone to ever be her. And there are lots of people that like throughout this experience, I don't talk to anymore. They couldn't handle what I was going through. So I don't talk to them anymore or I couldn't handle that they weren't supportive of the situation. Believe it or not, there was a lot of people that weren't. So, I wanted to hop on and say thank you. I love the support. I appreciate it. I do know what this week is. I will know what this week is for the rest of my life. I know exactly what I was doing at this time two years ago. <laughs> I can tell it to you like it was a fucking movie. <sighs> But it's not going to bring her back. It's not going to change the situation. And it's not going to make it go away. So please, when you're reaching out or messaging, and it's not just me, it's anybody that's involved. Think about it before you send it. Think about what you're saying. Because I have gotten way too many messages in the last like three or four days asking questions. Like I said, if you want to know more, go read the discovery. There's over 2,000 pages. Dissect it like the rest of the fucking world did. Because you think you know better than, you know, the Frederick Police Department or the Weld County DA and think you can figure out the why behind it because they sure as hell couldn't. But he's in jail where he needs to be. So, um, I'm going to say my piece and move on with my life the best that I can. <laughs> my son the other day, Nicholas. I almost think I should start doing what Nicholas has done. So, it's not funny, but it kind of is. Um... And I literally told Christina and Addie this the other day that I literally wanted to start sending this to people. But this is not the person that I am. So I don't. I'm nice. And I don't send this. But Nicholas literally said, why don't you just start telling people to go fuck themselves, Mom? It's none of their damn business. And he's so right. Like, he's had some people reach out to him and be like, are you Nicole Atkinson's son, Nicholas? And he was like, do you know her? And they'll be like, well, no, I don't know her. I know of her. And he's like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Out of the mouth of, the, of an 18-year-old, right? Uh -huh. So, thank you for the support. I very much appreciate it. Um, if you happen to be in the area of where the gravesite is in North Carolina, please leave Sandy and Frank and Frankie alone. What a mourn this week. Like, stop going to the gravesite. Let them be with their family because they want to be. Don't go up and interrupt them when they're doing something. Don't go up and ask questions. Please, just back the fuck off. Hope you all have a wonderful day.
Love you. Bye.